Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so you mentioned that you're like doing a lot of uh, a lot of coding and stuff. Yeah. You know, that, that, that's your main job. Are there any like a uh, particular projects that you know that really stick out to you that you like working or you oh, know, yeah. what is it that draws you to coding? Yeah, definitely. Um, so the particular project I'm working on is called WebAssembly. Yeah. If you're like a web JavaScript person, so like pretty much, the, the, oh man, the quickest bad example, take it with a huge grain of salt, I'm sorry. Yeah. But uh, it's kind of like right now in the browser, you can only run JavaScript, which is what you might've heard of, but mm -hmm. now there's a new language called WebAssembly, which essentially is going to run faster than JavaScript in big air quotes faster, Yeah. but it should unlock things like games in the browser like you know we have some but like you don't run call of duty in the browser and yeah. the reason why is because a web browser just can't run it fast enough yeah, yeah. web assembly will hopefully unlock that and we'll get things maybe like digital audio workstation so if you want to make music in the browser that'll be something you could do and so on and so forth um but yeah and then particular um what was the other thing you asked particular projects and uh i mean what is it that draws you to coding oh yeah what draws me to it um i just always like computers i mean just yeah. growing up again with that whole nostalgia thing like when I was like seven or not even seven, I was like maybe like three playing Joe and Mac on the SNES. Yeah. I was like, I got to make games when I get older. And yeah. then when I turned six, I got my first computer and all that. And I was like, I just got to do this. Like, this is just the coolest thing I'd ever experienced. Yeah. And like, even though I'm 26, sometimes people look to me, oh, you, you, you don't know about dial up. I'm like, no, I know about dial up. <laughs> yeah. I, I, you, know, you know what? I was on yeah. my e-machine terrible computer my parents could barely afford but you yeah. know what i heard that dial tone yeah and that's how i got online that's how i played runescape yep. that's yep. how i played virtual magic kingdom yeah. that's how i did those things yep so. and then you had to get off the computer because your mom had to call your aunt yep. and you're like oh no <laughs> <laughs> yep I, oh man I yeah those days exactly yeah yeah they're like you guys are too young for dial up it's like nah yeah i was there for dial up that shit sucked <laughs> like, <laughs> man, i don't forget dial up yeah yeah never forget yeah never <laughs> never uh yeah so what else uh so you're still like doing skating right skating skating yeah. has been a big thing for you, you mm -hmm. i've noticed that a lot too you know you've had a few references to that in your uh your songs your music for sure definitely so that's always pretty dope yeah know? yeah so skating i've been skating for a, like Literally half my life, which is like my favorite thing to say. Yeah, about. <laughs> true. You actually have. Yeah, because I've been yeah. skating since I was like 12 and I'm 26 yeah. now. And I've been skating pretty consistently ever since. So I used real. to skate every single day. Yeah. But as I've gotten older, got more responsibilities. I can't as much. Now it's about like once or twice a week. But, yeah. you know, I'd, skateboarding is a huge part. Like, so to your point about my music, yeah, yeah, for my first love is like, my first love is skateboarding. So that's why there's all like, you know, the intro of that song is like my old skate clips with me and my homies, you know, just yeah. skating and stuff. Um, and I have skateboard noises all throughout the song and stuff just to like help reinforce that yeah um so yeah skating is cool if you, i mean if by any chance if you in the area you try to skate hit up your boy yeah i know the spots in long beach i mostly parks i don't go too much street skating nowadays because like i'm that adult skater now you know yeah. like, just, like, gets off of work and he's like just sits you know does his 10 tricks and goes home yeah <laughs> you know what I mean? true but, yeah yeah hey, they nice 10 tricks they, they are really nice <laughs> tricks. my man has so much power <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you yeah um yeah, that's fucking crazy. Yeah, half your life been skateboarding. <laughs> I never, I never thought about it that way. It's like, damn, you really has. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, nice. And so, what kind of uh, you mentioned you like gaming a lot. Yeah, so, you know what kind of what kind of games have you been into? You yeah. know, besides the Rocket League and the Halo. Yes. What? So, um, you know, I used to be a big gamer. I mean, as you know, we were like roommates in college and stuff. Yeah. Uh, Breath of the Wild was the last game I really got immersed in. So, Best so game ever Best made. Game made. <laughs> um, but other than like nowadays, other than Halo and uh what's a rocket league because like those take like sit down time the only time yeah. i really play games is you know i'm not really like a mobile gamer but hearthstone battlegrounds oh yeah battlegrounds man that's yeah. that's my game and the skateboarding games on my phone oh yeah yeah i like i'm pretty bummed because there was one called skater made by people who made skater xl and they took it off the store i guess to sell more copies of skater xl i was like oh. no i still played it yeah i still played you take it off oh, shit, <laughs> it had like the perfect flicks i was so yeah and then i guess other than that um i guess a little bit of skater xl because all the skateboarding i like playing skateboarding games yeah and uh, yeah, I haven't gotten like in into a game in a little bit, but you know, Breath of the Wild Two is coming out, so who yeah, knows? It true. Might be soon. Yeah, might be soon. Yeah. Um, and then I also do a bit of retro gaming too. So like, uh, one thing about me going back to the coding, yeah. I built a Game Boy emulator called Wasm Boy, but oh, yeah. with the whole vaporwave thing, I made like a vaporwave skin on it. So if you go to vaporboy.net, that's my emulator I made. It plays Game Boy Color games. Yeah. Uh, I used to play a lot. I'm a big retro gamer. Um, I used to play a lot more emulators, and when I had this commute from like one of my jobs in San Francisco out to like a, it was from San Jose to San Francisco. I used to play games on the train. Uh, I learned how to speed run Link's Awakening for Game Boy. Oh, nice. yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like a five minute speed run. So it was like, well, if you have one hour on the train, like yeah. 
five minute each try. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like, true. What is that? Five divided by that's like twenty tries. Yeah. If I did the math wrong, someone's going to comment down below. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah <laughs> you yeah. can't do math. <laughs> <laughs> An hour is only sixty minutes, yeah. not a hundred. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> did I do? Did I get their math wrong? You did five times twenty, which would be a hundred minutes. No. <laughs> you need an hour is sixty 12, minutes. Twelve. So yeah, yeah. Twelve tries. Yeah, okay. You need to get 12 God tries. damn it. Yeah. See, that's why I'm glad you're here. But, yeah. <laughs> but if y'all are in the comments, you know, drop a correction. <laughs> let, let us know. Yeah. That we can't do fucking math because. Yeah. yeah. We're musicians. We don't do math. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the computer does it for me. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's too funny. Yeah, no, you were talking about retro games. I mean, which, which makes a lot of sense because a lot of like the whole like music aspect. You know, we've we've mentioned nostalgia a lot, and like a lot of retro games just have like that nostalgia factor. Like sometimes mm -hmm. it's like, sure, you have like the brand new like Red Dead Redemption games coming out, and you're like, damn, that 4K looks crazy. But like every now and then, I just like to go back to like Mega Man Two or something. You know, play some yeah. Banjo Kazooie. You know, there's something about these games that just hits different. You know, maybe it is like the nostalgia factor, but retro gaming is just something like a unique experience all on its own yeah i think it's i mean i mean if you want to go all the way into game design i think it's because yeah. uh like one thing about indie games is usually they focus on doing one mechanic really well yeah. and that's how like the games shine out because they just did one thing really good because they yeah. don't have the budget to do 15 things good right and i think retro games are in that same regard in which like they were still figuring out like how does game design work what makes a good game yeah so like when they found something that worked they pushed that button real hard yeah. like you know once they figured out like platforming works both in terms of fun and like sales they were like all right cool let's get really good at platforming yeah, exactly like, it's the only thing we can afford on our budget that we know we can like pump out really so they just got iterated as like an industry really fast yeah on like one concept now it's like you know halo has like 15 different mechanics that was built up upon from like years of people perfecting those mechanics yeah as an industry so yeah i think it might be that same regard where it's like simple but like a lot of fun because they you know yeah really nailed that thing down so yeah Kind of like with music. Kind of, whoo, yeah. Whoo, yeah, 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 yeah. Take what you built upon all the other people, learn, get really good at just one aspect of it. You know? mm -hmm. I don't know how to master the fuck out of these kicks. <laughs> <laughs> you best know these kicks are going to be nice. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Everything else is okay, but these kicks, yeah. they're nice. <laughs> yeah, totally.